in California, Rita. Women's prisons, wait for this, anticipate pregnancies within women's present, uh, prisons after forcing transgender women, in other words, blokes, to be housed in there with the women. What do you think of that, Rita? Well, you need to protect that female population because we've already seen cases in the UK where someone who's an intact male body identifying as a woman has gone into a women's prison. Uh, a character called Karen White is one of the ones that's got a uh, great deal of publicity. And they sexually assaulted a number of those prisoners and those prisoners deserve to have some protection from that in, in, in when they're incarcerated. So it just seems well, the, the insane that you thing. can be even a sexual predator and identify as a woman and then be housed with women. Well, the shocking thing, James, in this story is that the prison, are, the prison itself is acknowledging what's going to happen by providing condoms and, and recognising that this assault is going to take place and the prison is going, well, nothing we can do. James? It's 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 absolutely appalling. It's absolutely immoral. I mean, I don't care what these women in prison are accused of doing or what they're having have been done. The fact is they deserve not to be put in prison with biological men who will attack them. I mean, this is just basic stuff here, people. This is where and this is exactly where the left gets it so wrong and why women always wind up, you know, earlier in the show, I was talking about how women always wind up getting sacrificed on the altar of powerful men, sexual harassers when they're in power, because, hey, you know, the agenda is more important. Well, again, this is the same thing. Women, the least powerful women in society, prisoners, are being put and sacrificed on the altar of this ideology, which says you cannot question it. It's evil. It's immoral. It's a disgrace.